today's lesson we are going to look at partial fraction decomposition lesson 101 let us start what is partial decomposition or partial fraction decomposition suppose you have these two fractions and then we want to simplify them we know that we are going to look at the lowest common denominator which is x minus 3 x plus 1 we simply multiply the two denominators and then we look at the first fraction taking our LCD we look at the denominator of the first fraction which is this we divide it by the LCD we know that this will get rid of this and then you are left with x plus 1 this x plus 1 will multiply by this so we are going to have 2 multiplied by x plus 1 since we have negative between the two fractions this negative will bring it down here and then we do the very same process but with the second fraction which is x plus 1 and then this will get rid of this then we are left with x minus 3 x mul minus 3 multiplied by 1 it will be 1 multiplied by x minus 3 then simplifying this further we know that we are going to distribute we're going to have 2x plus 2 minus x plus 3 and then simplifying the denominator we're going to have x squared plus x minus 3 x minus 3 then from here we have x plus 5 all over x squared minus 2x minus 3 so we can see that the difference of the two fraction is equals to this now partial fraction decomposition we are going to take this and reverse it to this we are actually going to take the difference or the answer and then we find the two fractions or three fractions which were simplified to give us the answer that is basically what is partial fraction decomposition let us actually start with the first example let us actually start with this one now the first step that we need to do we need to factorize the denominator that is the first step so factorizing the denominator we are going to have x plus 5 we open two brackets we find the factors of x and then as we can see that actually there are many methods to find the factors if the sign of the constant is negative it means our signs will be different it will be positive and negative or we can quickly say two numbers you multiply them they give you negative 3 you add them they give you negative 2 those factors it's negative 3 and 1 so negative 3 multiplied by 1 it's equals to negative 3 and then negative 3 plus 1 is equals to negative 2 so we are going to put positive 1 and negative 3 after factorizing we cannot factor out or factorize any further so this is what you must know when we are dealing with linear factors remember we are still focusing on the denominator when we are dealing with linear factors what is linear factor or linear equations or linear functions As you can see all these expressions are linear because the highest power of x is 1 and then when we say an expression is a quadratic it's when we have something like this as you can see the highest power is positive 2 or it's 2 then we say this is a quadratic expression but in this case you can see that 
all the highest powers is 1. You should know that we are going to have something like this a over x plus 1 plus b over x minus 3. We are going to look at an example whereby we we have a quadratic expression on the denominator. But let us quickly cover it and we will be able to see the difference. Suppose we have something like this. Now you can see that the first factor is a linear, the second factor is a quadratic. So in this case, we are going to write it like this, a over x plus bx plus c over x squared plus 4. So you can see that when we are dealing with a quadratic expression, we express it this way. It will be bx plus c it goes with a constant. Back to our question. Our next step, we are going to multiply each and every term by the LCD, which is this one. Now, on the left hand side, we have x plus 5, x plus 1, x minus 3. So, multiplying this, it will be x plus 1, x minus 3. We do the same thing to each and every term. x plus 1, x minus 3, x plus 1, x minus 3. So this is what will happen. This will get rid of this. This will get rid of this. And then this will get rid of this. And then we are left with x plus 5. And then we have a x minus 3 plus b x plus 1. And then from here, we look at our factors. The first factor is x plus 1. So if we say x plus 1 is equal to 0 and then x will be equal to negative 1, same goes to 3, it will be x minus 3 is equal to 0, this will be x is equal to 3. These values are the ones that we are going to substitute here. So we first substitute by negative 1, we are going to have negative 1 plus 5 a negative 1 minus 3 plus b negative 1 plus 1. And then from here we are going to have 4 is equals to negative 1 minus 3 it's negative 4 so you're going to have negative 4 a plus b negative 1 minus actually negative 1 plus 1 it's 0 so you do agree that this would be 0. So we have 4 is equal to negative 4a. Divide both sides by negative 4. Then the value of a is equal to negative 1. Now from here, we are not done. We are still going to use the very same expression. But we are going to substitute by the second solution, which is 3. Where we see x, we are going to substitute by 3 plus 5 is equal to a 3 minus 3 plus b 3 plus 1. Then 3 plus 5 is 8, it's equal to a 3 minus 3 is 0 plus b will be equal to 4. I mean b multiplied by 4. So we have 8 is equal to 4 b we divide both sides by 4 and then b will be equals to 2 then we go back to our expression or equation 
we get that a is negative 1 x minus 3 plus b is 2 x plus 1 so this is equals to this when we simplify this we are going to get this that's it for this lesson video this is Fahula SJ. Thank you very much.